So let's keep going and talk about another example of disruptive innovation in the PC, and that's, that's our little friend here, the tablet computer. Uh, Deloitte, uh, we coined the phrase the Goldilocks device, uh, the idea being that it's, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. Lying neatly between the smartphone and the personal computer, it has, it has the virtues of both with, with, with few of the drawbacks of either. And, and our prediction at the start of the year is that these devices would sell more than 10 million units this year. As you know, we are on track for that. Apple is making more than 2 million, two million units a month. The important bit about the, the Goldilocks device, the, the, uh, the, the tablet, is I think what it says about the personal computer industry, specifically about our friends at, 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 at Microsoft and Intel who are wonderful companies and have been terrific innovators, but, but we have gotten to a point where, uh, I'll use a real world example. I was in, in Dallas on Monday and zipped into Toronto and then I uh, was in Edmonton last night and now I'm here in Edmonton today and I'm flying back to Toronto tonight and tomorrow morning I go into my office at 10 o'clock. And I've got a conference call scheduled at 10 and of course uh, being who I am, I show up at 9.59 and 30 seconds. Uh, Chris, is Chris Lum still in the room? How many, how many of our calls do I make on time? I mean, I'm usually, I'm never 30 minutes late, but, but early is unusual. I am, you, you lie like a rug. Minute or two late. So at 10, 9.58, I land at my Deloitte office and I turn my computer on, but I've been out of the office for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And the Deloitte IT guys are great, and they've got all kinds of virus scripts and updates and doc templates, and I turn my machine on, and for 28 minutes, it sits there buzzing at me, unable to boot Microsoft Windows or Outlook, where the information for the conference call I'm supposed to be dialing into it resides. So what do I do? I take the brand new $2,500 machine that Deloitte just bought and installed for me, and I push it to the back of my desk, and I turn this on, and within eight seconds, I have, I have my information. Did I just push a $2,000 professional enterprise-grade machine to the back of my desk and take out a toy? Sounds to me like that's what I did. When, during the course of the day, my Windows machine freezes two or three times and hangs in the middle of some important task, I push the $2,000 machine to the back of the desk, turn on the toy, and once again, I'm live and working. Why is it that the $500 toy is a better enterprise solution for me? What does that say about the personal computer industry? What does that, and I'm not blaming Microsoft and I'm not blaming Intel. They have done an amazing job of taking an 8-bit 1976 kernel and running with that puppy for 30 some years. But is it the new computing paradigm of 2010 and 2015 and 2020? And a lot of people have been saying the PC is dead for years. Um, I'm not saying it's dead, but it's, 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 it's not singing, dancing, and running up and down mountains.